everything sucks, man. Just, everything's really. <laughs> I don't. Really think, I, don't I, I don't. I don't. I don't feel that way. Really. <laughs> okay. Well, good like for the, you. Like the infrastructure bill. Okay. Or whatever. I don't care anymore. It's the reconciliation bill. Who cares? Whatever the bill. Um. Everyone's mad at it, right? Because it's like, oh, we we took out we took out the things that were like a uh, uh, free free uh, plumbing school for CBs. You're the child of a CB. You can go to plumbing school. Like the things that helped Joe Biden win the primary, the policies that everyone loved, they even took those out. All that shit. And so we're only left with 1.5 trillion. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, what's left? You know, if you took all that out, what's left? What is the 1.5 trillion? And I'm glad you asked. The 1.5 trillion is the most ambitious federal health care plan, not just in American history, but you could argue like the history of the industrialized West. It's a $1.5 trillion plan, 150 billion over 10 years every year. Uh, it's called Floss Latino. <laughs> and what, what this means is, you know, because a lot of people don't realize it's budget neutral. Ooh. It gives, yeah, that's the big thing. So Floss Latino means that we are giving $150 billion of tax rates to the, the big two, uh, Colgate and Crest. They, and what they are going to do is they're going to create a mail-in rebate program where Latinos can experience savings of up to 67 cents on the dollar for every floss item, not applicable to water picks. And a lot of people are saying like, oh, this is means tested. Like this leaves out Argentinians, like Chileans have had problems with the rebates, Chilean Americans. But, you know, I will say to them, like, do you not want Latinos to floss? Yeah. I mean, do you want a world where Trump is president and Latinos cannot floss? Yeah, no, I've been like, I've been working focus groups and this is like huge in Florida. Floss Latino is going to help the Democrats win Florida. But I, I'm, I don't know. I think this is a big deal. I think it's a big deal that we got like Joe Manchin to support Floss Latino. I mean, and people said that there was no dental or vision in, in this bill either. But I mean, Floss Latino, I mean, what, I mean, is there anything more important for dental than flossing? No. I mean, second, maybe even more important than brushing your teeth. We're talking about flossing. And a lot of people say, oh, there's not enough in this bill to, climate, to combat climate change or to bring prescription drug prices to heal. Well, Floss Latino, I mean, do you, do you think the executives at Big Soda wanted Floss Latino passed? No. No, they, they lobbied intensely against this. And you know what? Like, uh, it's putting them in their place. I, yeah, this is like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, we supported Bernie after we supported Elizabeth Warren until exactly April 25th. Um, <laughs> everyone knows that about us. Everyone knows that. But like we're so that means we're as far left as possible. Right. Oh, yeah. Can't you get know? any more. No, it's impossible. I would have been in the boond. Not the not the racist one. No, the, the good opposite. One. The good one. The good one. Like get the yeah no. If you could put like a little genius annotation there where I'm saying it's not the Nazi one, <laughs> please. I mean the one that would yeah you get it. But we also realize what country we live in, and like passing Floss Latino in America is like passing a worker Soviet in any European nation. Yeah, if not more impressive. I think it's time to pop some bottles. And if you're Latino. Don't forget to flaw because it's on the house. For 67 cents on the dollar on the house. But I mean, also, like, if you are of uh, Caucasian, non-Latino, non-Hispanic heritage, it is still encouraged for you to floss. Yeah, but you got to do it we, full price. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we I think mean, like, if we can expand the majorities in 2022, which we think with this, like it's fucking easy, right? Yeah. How do we not walk away with 60 votes after this? we're going to be able to have a program called Floss Germania. <laughs> and that gets everyone who isn't Latino. Anyone who isn't Latino is German. I'm okay spending a little bit more money on Floss. You know, like, because mm -hmm. I, I, like, 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 this country's been very good to me. It's been very true, good to yeah. me and my family. And I'm willing to pay a little bit, like, an added Floss tax. If I, if I, if I move into a higher Floss bracket, if I'm helping other people Floss, um, and look, yeah, I wanted I wanted the sonic toothbrush to be covered by this bill. I really did. But I'm not I'm not gonna let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Would you rather have sixty seven cents off all floss purchases for people of Latino descent? Or would you like what the Republicans wanted, 
which is hammer every tooth out of your face with a ball peen <laughs> hammer. Because, I mean, like, I, I know what I'm choosing. I'll pay a little bit more for floss. Thank you very much. I'll keep the teeth in my head. Because I'm a good person. And for people, people who are mad that, like, you know, because I know, like, last year when we were talking about this, this is the main animating policy, kind of of the entire primary, kind of the entire Trump administration was floss Latino. And people were, you know, it used to be like, oh, you were saying floss Latino is just a name. Everyone gets it. Well, I mean, yeah, like a universal program sounds nice. Um, how are you going to tell voters that Baron Trump doesn't have to pay to floss? Yeah. Yeah. He gets how does free that floss. Yeah. Taxpayer cool. funded floss. And he uses a lot of it because his teeth are the size of uh, kitchen tiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. and he's well, always eating he's always eating popcorn too and you know how fucking annoying that is you eat popcorn yeah. it's like the next two days you got like a, it's a, it's a, there's always some fucking little sliver or a kernel just this wedged this way into your gums and it just drives you crazy and i mean like obviously that's never been a problem for me but for latinos all across the country i mean like with, without access to floss uh i mean like i just think how annoying that would be spending a whole week and you can feel it. It's in there. It's in somewhere that you're fucking up in your gums. And you just can't. You're tonguing at it all the time. Mm -hmm. You can't get to it. No, it's like only floss will do the job. I know we've said this literally every day of the Biden administration, but this really feels like the death of neoliberalism, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's over. Like, this is... Like, if Bill Clinton was alive, if he wasn't secretly executed, because, yes, we support Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden, but we also believe in QAnon... Warren and Biden are the only two people not mentioned in QAnon. We do believe that Bill Clinton was killed several years ago. He would have been sickened by Flawless Latino. Like, it's too big Like it's too big of a program. This runs against, like, DLC conventional yeah. wisdom. I'm really happy to have seen this. I mean, I just think, like, now is the time to, I mean, obviously, like, oh, you know, we didn't do this. Like, we supported Flawless Latino. We supported, you know, a good chunk of what's in the reconciliation bill. But, like, Get, I think I think activists. I think we need to thank the activists. They, yeah. but, I mean, like there are people who've been working forty years to make the dream of slightly more affordable floss a reality, and now for it Latinos. is. For Latinos, yeah. well, but like I mean, that's like uh, almost half the country now. We're talking about <laughs> that's almost half the country. Like overnight, overnight, as a result of this bill, that would not have happened were it not for a Democratic Congress and presidency. Overnight slightly less than half of the population in the United States, if they fall in a certain income tax bracket, will save probably tens of billions of dollars on floss over the next 10,000 years. And people, people are saying like, oh, like n literally 40 people in America have heard of this program. Um, not even most of the people who work at Colgate know what this is. They just know that they're like, the government is literally just giving them money every year. Okay, well... We haven't even initiated like the most important part of Floss Latino, the outreach part. Uh, the Island Boys are going to make a new song <laughs> about Floss. God damn it! I got <laughs> that song Boys. out of my head. Thank you. <laughs> like five minutes ago, it's finally. I wasn't thinking about that song, and now I am thinking about it again. The the, the Island Boys are Cuban Americans. Chris, can you? Pipe in some island boy. boys when this. I'm a just <laughs> island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a get key one. Do they live in? Uh, are they? On, do they live on an island? Do they think yeah, Florida, Florida is an island? Yeah, Florida's an island. They, that's a peninsula. <laughs> Someone needs Key West. To tell them that. They live in Key West. Key West. Oh, okay. Key West, uh, Key West is an island. I think. I think All right. I'll give them. Find. I'll give them the I tip of the. Will find. Marco Island, also an island in Florida. That's true. And it's also like an island is a state of mind. It's like you could be an island boy and live in Bismarck, North Dakota. It doesn't matter. That's true. It's all so about I'm, whether you have Simpsons hair or not. Yeah. I have met, well, I think it's a lot. It's a pretty simplistic way of viewing things. But, you know, I've met landlubbers who <laughs> have always been surrounded by water. And I've met island boys who have never seen the ocean. It's all like attitudinal. <laughs> There's longitude, latitude, and attitude. Guess which one really gets the wind in your sails. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to be celebrating to our favorite song, Island Boys, by the Island Boys. Whatever you guys do, that's up to you. There's a lot of good stuff in this bill. There's a lot, there's a lot of good stuff. And I, I, I suspect it will... Um, I mean, a lot of people say the Green New Deal, the New New Deal. No, th this is just the New Deal. This is this yes. is yes. It's New Deal 2.0. Yeah, this is this, this is they're they're delivering the goods, folks. This 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 is what we worked for. 
Um, and it, it's our time now. It's, it's comprehensively, it is our time. The left is in charge. Neoliberalism, it's over. It's done. Di it's like the dinosaurs. The meteor has hit. They're on the way out. Um, and just uh, watch this space. Good things coming. That neoliberal shit, that neoliberalism shit, I'm done with it. Still a deficit hawk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, I would say like, it's not even like, the New Deal kind of like undersells it. I would actually put this up there with the Great Leap Forward. <laughs> I think that's kind of what we're dealing with. We're going to be doing backyard iron uh, mongering any day now. We are, wa I mean, like, we are waging a cultural revolution against gun disease in this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, if your parents work for a soda company, they will be exiled. <laughs> <laughs> they will. I just, oh, God. Dr. Pepper? His phony bourgeois doctorate will be in a public square with like a dunce cap on, and then like, and then a Plus Latinos will uh, will be throwing uh, bricks at them. The sixth, <laughs> the sixth black category is tartar buildup. <laughs> today, today, uh, Benjamin Meyer Barks of Barks Root Beers plane uh, was shot down over Maryland. I mean, it crashed. We didn't kill him. <laughs> Ugh. Oh man, the the fucking insane clown posse is is just pelted with rocks that made it wear giant dunce caps. No, that would be Taiwan. Vigo. Mi Michigan would be the new <laughs> Taiwan, and it'd be like, no, no, that's America. Like, what the yeah, fuck? No, would, that's America. They would just throw up. Uh, <laughs> they would throw up giant walls immediately. Like, no, we're not giving up the soda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's no i want to replay the entire like 20th and 21st century where it's like china is like okay we get it like we can't say michigan like we get it we're sorry <laughs> like, we fucked up <laughs> john cena does apologize it does an apology video to america he's like i'm sorry i referred to it as michigan yeah. i should have said it was america it's yeah. it's america it's not michigan because flaws latino is so successful that it makes america the new china mm -hmm. and it, it another 5d chess move it real allocates all flossing supplies from the global south into america <laughs> <laughs> it's like china can't even get any and it's like they're america now they suck after a hundred years of Los Latino and a hundred years of Michigan, Taiwan, man, you thought, you thought the Youpers were fucked up before. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, every upper peninsula guy will be Baron Harkonnen, but powered by soda. <laughs> <laughs> a new, a new disgusting drink that only Michiganders can make called soda beer. <laughs> That, that will be the Arrakis of the 22nd century. <laughs> so it's, it's, we're Dune, we're China, all Latinos are flossing, maybe all Germans after 2023. I mean, no, no, if, if the Democrats win the midterm right, elections. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, if, maybe. if you are of Germanic heritage, which is 54% of this country, uh, if, if, if you derive from, from, from Germanic stock, um, all I got to say, start organizing, start phone banking, mm -hmm. start knocking on doors. Now we can make, Floss, <laughs> Floss, Floss Fortress Germania is going to be a real thing, provided gonna, the Democrats win the midterms. It is going to be a Kulterkampf against cavities. <laughs> Blood and iron. That's what's going to be in your mouth. After your first <laughs> because week, of the you stop bleeding. <laughs> you stop bleeding after that. It's fine. I'm like, I, I would just like to say, like, it is... For for people uh, who are who are going to take advantage of Los Latino for perhaps the first time, and like you know, like for a lot of people, this is going to be the first time that they've you know really come face to face with like a direct government assistance that helps them in their life. Mm -hmm. It's normal to your mouth to be full of blood after you floss. Yes, like pretty like pretty much every time. That's normal. There's nothing wrong. It's it, it's because the floss is working. I'm a late in life flosser, and it's like you know when you first start flossing that first week your temperature is going to run higher. You're going to sweat a lot. You're going to like have to itch your neck a lot. You're going to be hanging around. You're going to be hanging out around like train stations and the Port Authority bus stop and be asking for very specific amounts of money because you always claim you needed a uh, bus ticket to Maryland or Indiana. But it's worth it. I mean, I can, <laughs> I can, I can only hope I can only hope that like the, 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 the stupid backwards part of this country will not protest against the upcoming floss mandate oh my god I would, i'm oh god, sick of these fucking pigs dumb fuckistan again 
<laughs> I like the, yeah, like, I want to go through the whole cycle where it's like, uh, 10 years after Flawless Latino, there are people who are like, now they're like, okay, we get it. Like, this sucks. I'm sorry that I like told people to vote for Joe Biden. And then 10 years later, they're like, actually, Flawless Latino like helped every American. Actually, it was great. And then ten, also you have the other half of the country that's like, 10 years ago is like when I quit the army because of Flawless Latino. <laughs> it's just like a fucking insane reaction to it. Like, yeah, 10 years ago, I like, I killed my wife because I was so mad about Flawless Latino. 